It hasn't been long since 2023 started, and there's already a few rumors surrounding the Metal Gear series. It's almost like there's a quota for it or something. In case you don't remember, it's been nearly seven years since MGS5 came out, and by extension, Kojima left the company. So without counting Survive, there's been a huge lack of Metal Gear related news that has been officially said for nearly seven years. But nevertheless, almost every month, or at the very least during the time of any major gaming event, there's bound to be a rumor surrounding Metal Gear. Maybe it's a remake. Or a new game. What about that movie that was being made? Well, why are the actors suddenly doing interviews together again? Wait, what? There's an autograph signing? Eventually, the whole war machine grinds to a halt. A true battle gear! Cause I'm having deja vu here. Anything and everything has to mean that there's something Metal Gear related happening. And it's happening soon, guys. Trust me, bro. It's happening. Now, if you're a YouTuber that covers this type of stuff, or a viewer that's actively interested in the news surrounding it, I don't really blame you. Me, though, I'm tired of constantly trying to hype people up on rumors. But as you guys know, I love Metal Gear about as much as Ocelot loves Big Boss, if you know what I mean. So while I can ignore 99% of gamer hype culture, it is very hard for me to ignore it with Metal Gear Solid, since it's most of what I'm recommended whenever I'm on websites like Twitter. As of writing this video, Quentin Flynn, otherwise known as the voice of Raiden, actually replied to someone on Twitter talking about potential Metal Gear news, and to expect something in the coming weeks. Now, I'm under the impression that voice actors don't usually get told any information about the projects they're working on, at least until a certain point. So if Quentin is actually saying this with confidence, I truly hope he's right, because to say he just opened Pandora's box is putting it lightly. Because now there's an expectation, and it's gonna be essentially impossible to meet. Not only because of how long it's been since anything Metal Gear has been officially said by Konami, but also because of all the stuff Konami has done in the past. If for some reason you don't know the history of Konami, allow me to give you a quick rundown. To start with, they treated Kojima and his staff poorly. They kept Kojima separated from his team, which make him hard to work with everyone. They prevented him from even accepting his own award. Mr. Kojima had every intention of uh, being with us tonight, uh, but unfortunately he was uh, informed by a lawyer representing Konami uh, just recently that uh, he would uh, not be allowed to uh, travel to uh, tonight's awards ceremony to uh, accept um, any awards. They keep their employees under constant surveillance on top of that shitty treatment. And they have a CEO that mainly cared about numbers, so that's why they focus on Pachinko for a good while, because it was more profitable. They remove Hideo Kojima's name off of the box art for Metal Gear Solid 5 and also don't include his name in Metal Gear Survive. They also contact other developers in the industry specifically so that anyone that previously worked for them cannot be hired or be treated better, essentially blacklisting them from the entire industry. They haven't had any communication regarding any of their IPs for years, despite all the years of controversy, and they haven't even attempted to put anything out that shows that they actually care about the IPs that they have. Hence why there hasn't been anything official about Metal Gear, Castlevania, and only now did we get anything about Silent Hill. So I guess everything is forgiven then, since they've managed to put something out after all these years? I don't know. I just find it weird that now I'm seeing way more people wanting, if not begging Konami to do something to do with Metal Gear after all the stuff they've done. For a few years you couldn't say the word Konami without the word fuck attached to it, and yet now it feels like the tone has changed and more people are being open to potential new games for their RPs, especially Metal Gear. And if what Quentin Flint said is true and there's something to be expected in the coming weeks, Konami's gonna have a lot to prove to be able to continue on with Metal Gear, at least for me. Cause while you could probably argue that the worst they did for Silent Hill was cancel the game Silent Hills, it didn't leave as bad as an impression on that IP compared to all the stuff that happened with Kojima, on top of firing him. It's just something that I personally would find hard to ignore, even if the game ended up being amazing in trailers. But that's just me. Was real. We've reviewed into everything else that's happened since you arrived here. 
Please. Guilty! All counts. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! What should we do, boss? Just give the order. We'll handle the rest. Personally, I don't even want a new Metal Gear game. I know coming from me that must seem kind of odd, but I love the way the games were, and while I wish certain things had been different, ultimately I appreciate these games as they were released. And the fact of the matter is, Konami is not the same company as when these games were made, so I feel a lot would need to change if the games were remade or if the series were to continue. Now I am willing to admit that just because things are changing doesn't mean it will always be bad, but in the case of Metal Gear I feel like things that would change would end up being more important than first initially perceived. I see you have a calorie mate. Calorie mate? The thing you're holding now? Oh, the little block that looks like a cookie? The first thing is licensing, and this is for both the real world items like Calorie Made in MGS3 to something even more prevalent like all the guns in MGS4. MGS5 doesn't have real guns in it, it uses franking guns. Even the pachinko version of MGS3 continued using those guns instead of remodeling at least the key guns shown in cutscenes like Snake's 1911 for one. But then again, they still use single action armies for Ocelot so maybe I'm reading too much into it? Either way, for me, the guns in MGS are more important since for one, some of them are iconic, and more than that, the game's military sci-fi mixture works because of the things that keep the series grounded. You have modern firearms and military tech being offset by shit like stealth camo, infinity bandanas, cyborg ninjas, and robot dinosaurs. I, I mean, Metal Gears. But alright, maybe you're not a gun nut, or, you know, maybe not as much as one that Big Boss is. Incredible. But losing stuff like calorie mates or other products shown in later games like Regain due to licensing issues is going to be sorely missed. Even little things like the model posters would need to be updated, which ain't exactly a bad thing like I said earlier. But if it's a remake, I'd prefer if everything was kept as close to the original as possible. This is nothing new for Kojima games because even Death Stranding also had to replace Monster Energy for that game. The only thing I would argue though is that Metal Gear is not in a completely dystopian world like Death Stranding is, so it makes more sense to have things like Calorie Mate, Regain, or even Doritos for that matter, versus monster energy in a game that's supposed to be post-apocalyptic. But that's either here nor there. Let me know what you think on this. The second thing I'd miss if the series were to continue or get the remake treatment is the main theme for the Metal Gear series. Granted there was never an actual lawsuit over the main theme, but there were accusations saying that the song was plagiarizing a classic work from 1979. Take a listen. I'll admit, listening to it again, I can't hear the similarities of the songs. If it was just one part that was sorta of similar, I would've labeled it a coincidence. But the fact is, so much of that song from beginning to end is eerily similar to the MGS theme that I can see why Konami just didn't want to deal with it. But to avoid controversy, Konami has never used the theme again officially since MGS3. Portable Ops did have the theme, but it got removed because of the allegations. 
they could still use the theme, but part of me feels like maybe it's best to just move on completely. For me, it really depends on what Konami ends up doing with the franchise moving forward. If it's a remake, I'd really miss the original theme. Even if they use the one from MGS3 and 4, I'll always miss that main theme, even with MGS4 having the best boss fight and music to go along with it. They also did the exact same thing with MGS3 and its main theme, and it just hits so damn hard. If they do a new game though, it's prime real estate to do something new. I know not many would care about something like this, but these are just the few things that I worry about regarding any new Metal Gear product coming out. Besides just the story and gameplay being good of course. But I want to hear from you guys, where do you all sit on the Metal Gear hype train? What kind of expectations are you having right now? I'd love to see what you guys have to say, I try to respond to as many comments as I can so I look forward to seeing them. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a like if you can. It means a lot to me that so many of you enjoy the kinds of videos that I've been managing to put out. Sorry for keeping you waiting so long. So with all that being said, I'll see you guys on the battlefield. <laughs>